Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with Mimioni. This kicking off our first few looks at housing items added to housing vendors in your local residential area. We're going to look through all of these in a series of videos. I thought it'd be good if we went through a category each video. That way we can, you know, get past having to do an individual video on every item and instead bunch them together. I thought that would be a much better uh, solution so the videos are slightly longer because of that but yeah so if you come to any of your housing merchants uh, if you manage to get a house if not then keep going uh, you can of course get uh, yourself a uh, apartment or you can get a room in an FC house and uh, we're going to be looking at the other section today of the housing merchant and if we click on show only recently recently added items there's three things I wanted to look at specifically. Well, two that I was really excited for and one that I'm like, well, we might as well cover what's we're here. So we're going to get the simple basket, which is a sort of simple square basket. One might fill with simple square things, which is a diable for 1,200 gil. We're going to grab that. Then we're going to grab the Costa del Sol Phasmascape for 10,000 gil. It says, this advanced Magitech contraption displays a languid scene of Costa del Sol on a typical summer's day. Which, uh, yeah, honestly, I, I, I would love that. And there's also the Kagane Phasmascape. So if you've always dreamed of having a Phasmascape for your housing designs that, uh, you know, look out the window, for example, if you put a petition in front of it to see Kagane... This is that. It says, This advanced Magitech contraption displays the vibrancy of a nighttime Kagani. It's a shame there's not a daytime one as well, but beggars can't be choosers. So let's go and have a look at these items in our FC house. And uh, yeah, in another video, we'll look at another tab. There's quite a few housing items actually in 6.2. Alrighty then, here we are inside the FC house, nice and spacious. We've got some room to look at things here. And uh, we might have to bring the table out, honestly, but we'll get this out first. The simple basket. I'm going to plop that down. Of course, it is a, well, it's one of those what's it baskets made of like, not paper, but like it's a stitched basket. Like, like rope laid with, with some kind of fabric, like cotton or something. I don't know what they make these of, but they exist in real life, don't they? It is nice, actually, and uh, of course, as it says on the tin, you can put yourself inside of it and other things, right? Uh, it doesn't have collision detection as a result of that, though. So, unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. But I guess, how else would you put things in without having it uh, allow you to walk through it? So, you know, if it fits, it sits. That kind of situation, basically. That's what we've got here. It's a nice item, honestly. I mean, I, I can see a lot of people making use of this. Uh, as my hands poke out for various things um you know set dressing but also if you wanted to put something in here i'm kind of struggling to think what you could put in here but honestly any other housing item you want it's got a little hole in it as well so you can sort of you can kind of peep through a little bit if you want to <laughs> that looks amazing adorable um <laughs> yes what do you want <laughs> That sort of behavior. It's a nice box. Um, in terms of diability, though, since we are here, uh, da, 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 furnishing color. Yes, let's actually get away from it because they don't want me in the picture. Um, it, it's it's all right, actually. It has those solid sort of colors you would expect. Darker colors just kind of blend into the void, honestly. Um, it dies really well. Uh, so if you want a bright red ruby red box or a bright pink one you totally can of course it's going to look better in sort of lightish browny colors and more realistic colors but there's nothing to say you can't dye you know a box in real life i don't know but all your usability of box needs so that's probably like the least exciting of the items but i'm sure somebody somewhere has some great plans for this and i bet you somebody somewhere has been like if only there was a box shaped thing that didn't have collision detection hmm that would be the answer to my dreams. So maybe that is the case for somebody. So that's one of the items, which personally I still think, you know, one of the, one of the lesser things, right? But we can't discount it. It's very nice. It's very valid. So let's move that uh, briefly over here. We've got two Phasmascapes. If you're not familiar with Phasmascapes, we had the Tsukiyomi one uh, and, a, and a couple of others. And they're basically um, television screens. I think that's the best way to describe it, right? It's kind of like a semi-animated 2D screen, 
Um, and usually you can um, make best use of this by putting it at a distance from your character in a housing space. And if we can quickly just demonstrate um, the preview uh, furnishings, um, window, is it window? Imitation square window, will that work? No. Which is the one that's got the, there's like frames you can get. Frame, they did add, uh, no, maybe not. Archway? No, it's not these. But you get the idea, there is an item I forget at the time of recording and I don't want to mess you around. Uh, where you can, people have put like windows in front of these phasmoscapes and like even different sources of light and curtains and things. And from a distance, that is unremarkably Kagane. So if you've always dreamed of having a view of Kagane and living in the city streets, that is a wonderful effect. Of course, the closer you get, the blurrier it gets and the more scan lines you have. It'd be nice if one day they allowed uh, us to turn off the scan line effect but it's supposed to kind of resemble like a, a live cam or something, I presume. That's what a Phasmoscape is. So that's a pretty nice one of Kagane. The back of it is very bland. So if you wanted something that was big, white, flat, and uh, quite large with frames, um, that's a good demonstration of that as well. Some people make their own televisions, don't they, with flat surfaces and putting paintings on them. So this is kind of like an evolution of that concept. So that's the Kagane one, that's 10,000 gil from the vendor, as we said. Let's move that one over. And we've got, finally, the Costa del Th uh, Sol Phasmoscape, which I'm slightly more excited for, which is why I left it till last, uh, simply because I love Costa del Sol. Look at that. What a beautiful day scene. You can imagine somebody having like a beachfront property in the mist or wherever, and they've uh, created like a, a fake window display, and then it looks out onto the beach, of Costa del Sol. What a lovely image. And of course, close up, we've got the scan lines and the blur. But yeah, these are best placed at distance. So we've got a nice selection of items here from our first video into the housing vendor foray. And it's just great to know that you can just straight up pay for these with Gil from your friendly housing merchant nearby and not have to deal with advanced crafting techniques and dealing with a market board and gathering and yada yada. So yeah, the more like this, the better, I think. Anyway, let me know if you've picked up any of these items yet. I'll continue to look at these as we go. Um, there are obviously videos coming up on Island Sanctuary's rewards. There are a lot of them and many other things as well. It's a case of unlocking that content and getting those rewards to show you. So I will do that as quickly as I can, obviously, reasonably, because these things take a while to unlock, especially Island Sanctuary's progression route, if you've done any of that. But yeah, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. More 6.2 videos on the way. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.